so in the previous video we saw how we can show all the songs in our phone inside a list view and we also customize our list view so in this video we will see how we can set on click listener to play a song from that list view and we will also design the music player activity so let's get started at first I will create a new activity so for this I will click on here right click on this and create a new activity empty activity I will set the name of this to player activity all right and click on finish so here we have our player activity dot Java and here is the player activity dot XML so I'll go to the player activity dot XML file and here some release building so let's wait for that all right now I'll go to the UI and here I'll change the root layout to linear layout all right now I'll change the background of our activity so for this I use this image so I'll just copy this and paste it inside the drawable folder and click on ok ok so here is our background image so I'll set background at the red drawable slash background IMG all right now I'll set the orientation of our linear layout to vertical and I'll set a weight sum of 10 all right now here inside the linear layout I'll create another linear layout I'll set the width to match parent the height to 0 dp because we will set the weight to 7 here so I'll write layout weight 7 and then I'll set the gravity to center gravity center and then the orientation to vertical all right inside here I'll create a text view text view I'll set the width to match parent and the height to wrap content and then I'll give this text view an ID I'll call it txtsn all right and then I'll give a margin to this so I'll write margin I'll set it to 20 20 dp and then I'll set this with an animation so I'll write ellipse size I'll call it marquee and then I'll set the marquee repeat limit to marquee forever and then I'll give it also a padding of 10 dp and then I'll set it set this text view to single line so single line equals true and then let's put a text here to see how it looks so let's song name and change the text color to white and I'll set the text size to let's say 22 SP and then I'll set the text alignment to center so text alignment center and let's change the 
text style to italic all right so now i'll go outside of this text view and create a image view here so image view i'll set the width and height to 250 dp 250 dp and i'll give this image view an id i'll call it image view all right and i'll give a margin to this so i'll just give margin in the bottom so all right margin bottom to 8 dp right and for the image file i'm going to use this image so i'll just copy this and paste it inside the drawable folder click on ok ok and here for the src i'll pass this image at the rate drawable slash musics now under this image view I'll create a relative layout. Relative layout. I'll set the width to match parent and I'll set the height to 60 dp. And inside this relative layout, I'm going to create a seek bar. So I'll write seek bar and I'll set the width and height to the width will be 250 dp and i'll set the height to 250 content and then i'll give this seek bar an id i'll call it seek bar and then I'll uh, assign it to the center so I'll write center in parent to true and now let's um, align this with the bottom also so I'll write align parent bottom to true and let's give this a margin also so margin 20 dp and i'll also put a bottom margin so margin bottom will be 40 all right so our seek bar is now ready and then i'll create some text views to show the uh, current position of the song in seconds so i'll create a text view here text view i'll set the width and height to wrap content here and then i'll give this text view an id I'll call it txt s start and then I'll attach this text view to left of the seek bar so I'll write layout to left of and that will be left of the seek bar so I'll write seek bar and let's also put this in the center so center in parent true and the align parent left to false and then let's give this a margin to the left to 20 dp so margin left 20 dp 
let's put a text here which will say uh, 0 10 and then set the text color to white and I'll set the text size to 14 SP alright and similarly I'll create another text view here so I'll just copy this and paste it here I'll change the name to txt s stop and then I'll change all the lefts to right so here the align parent that will be right and the margin left will be also margin right and I'll change the time to let's say 410 and I'll change the layout to left off to layout to right off. Alright, so here is our seek bar that's also ready. And now I'll go outside of this linear layout and I'll create another linear layout here. Linear layout, I'll set the width to match parent and I'll set the height to 0 dp again because I'm going to give this a weight of 3 and inside this linear layout I'm going to create another relative layout and I'll set the width and height to match parent here and inside here I'll store all the buttons like the uh, pause play and the next previous also the rewind and fast forward so let's do that for this at first I'll create some icons so I'll go to the drawable folder right click on it and create a new uh, vector asset and from here I'll select the play and pause icon first so I'll let play and here is the play icon so I'll click on ok and then I'll change the color so from here I'll call it ff 36 2e alright so click on choose and I'll change the name to ic underscore play I'll click on next and then finish so similarly I'll create icons for um, pause and next previous and rewind and fast forward pause here is the pause icon click on ok I'll name it IC underscore pause click on next finish and now I'll create the icon for previous and next so here I'll select next here is the skip so I'll change the color to white now and I'll call it IC underscore next similarly I'll create vector asset for previous I'll call it IC underscore prev next and finish and similarly I'll create two icons for fast forward and rewind so from here I'll select the forward here is the fast forward click on ok change the name to IC underscore fast forward and finish then we need another icon for the rewind so here is the fast rewind I'll call it uh, 
ic underscore fast rewind next and finish so here we have all the icons that we needed so now we'll create the buttons inside the relative layout at first button i'll set the width and height of this button to 70 dp all right and then i let the id of this button i'll call it play button so play btn and then i'll uh, put this uh, button to the center so i'll write center horizontal to true all right and now let's uh, give the icon to this button so i'll write background equals at the rate drawable slash ic underscore play all right and then i'll create another button and i'll set the width and height this time to 50 db so i'll write 50 db for the width and for the height i'll also write 50 db i'll give this button an id to button next so btn next and i'll put this to right of the um, play button so to right of id play button let's give this a margin to the top so margin top is uh, let's give it 15 dp okay it looks good and now set the background so i'll for the background i'll call the drawable slash ic underscore next so similarly i'll create another button for the previous so i'll just copy this one paste it here and i'll change the button id to btn crave and i'll set the layout to left of here left of and margin top and i'll set the background to ic underscore rev and the other things are same all right so now we have to create the fast forward and the fast rewind button so let's do that so for this i'll create a button here I'll set the width and height to 40 dp this time. The height will be also 40 dp. I'll set the ID of this button to button fast forward. Alright, and I'll put it to the right of the button next so i'll write right to right of uh, button next all right and i'll also give this a margin to the top margin top i'll uh, give this to 20 dp and also give a margin to the left so margin left i'll give 15 dp all right and now for the background i'll give at the rate drawable slash ic underscore fast forward all right so the ui looks good now let's copy this again to create the fast rewind button change the id to btn fr and i'll change this to layout to right of 
to layout to left off and the button next will be the button brief and margin top margin left will be margin right and I'll change the icon to IC underscore fast rewind all right now I'll add the uh, audio visualizer under here so let's do that now so in order to add the visualizer I'm going to use this library by God of 95 God of K 95 all right so here is this audio visualizer so here are different types of visualizers but I am going to use this one for the app so to use that we need to copy this dependency and we have to paste this inside the app level Gradle file here I'll just paste it here and click on sync now So it's done now we can go back to our um, activity player from here to implement the visualizer we have some XML codes given in the um, repository so from here I'll just copy this um, and paste it inside our code so under the button I'll paste that and here I'll change the blast visualizer to bar visualizer all right and now let's customize this so for the width here I'll keep the match parent here but for the height I'll call 70 dp and I'll align this to the bottom so I'll write align parent bottom to true and then I'll set the AV color to hash FF 36 to E all right and now for the density I'll keep 0 0.5 and I'll set the speed to normal and the AV type will be outline And I'll keep the AV width to 4 dp here so that's it now we can go back to the main activity to set the on click listener for the list view and play song in the player activity so I'll go to the main activity Java here and here inside the display song method here I'll create the on click listener for the list view so list view dot set on item click listener set on item click listener and here I'll create new adapter view dot on item click listener all right and here let's um, get the song name so string song name equals string I'll call the list view dot get item at position and here I'll pass the position that we are getting so this is the I and then I'll pass the position and the song name to the player activity so I'll write start activity and here I'll pass new intent and here I'll pass the context so get application context and the second parameter is the player activity so I'll write player activity dot class and inside here I'll write dot put extra and here I'll add the tag name to 
songs where I'll pass my songs and then I'll pass the current selected song so I'll write song name and then I'll pass the song name that we retrieved and lastly I'll pass the position of that song so put extra I'll write pause and I'll pass the position here all right so that was it for the main activity now let's go to the player activity here so at first inside the player activity I'll initialize all the buttons and text views that we have mentioned in the XML file so I'll just quickly do that And now I'll create some variables to put the song array, the song name and also the position and I'll also create a media player object. So now I'll go inside the onCreate method and initialize all the objects here. So now here I'll check for the media player. So I'll write if media player not equals null. I mean if uh, when I enter into this player activity, if uh, there is a media player running, then we'll just release that media player. So for this, I'll write media player dot stop. And then media player dot release all right and then I'll use the get intent to get the song name and the infos from the previous activity so I will write intent I is equals so here if you get that error hit alt and enter okay so intent i is equal to get intent and from here i'll write bundle 
create an object equals i dot get extras all right so now let's retrieve the information from the intent here so i'll write my songs equals array list and bundle dot get parcelable array list and the key name is songs that we have passed here all right and then we will retrieve the song name so i'll write a string song name equals i'll write i dot get string extra and here the token name was song name i guess so if you see here that was the song name and the next one is the position all right so let's get the position also so i'll write position equals uh, bundle dot get int get int and here um, the key was position and we have to pass a default value here that i'll pass zero and now i'll put the uh, song name inside the uh, text view song name so for this i'll write txt s name dot set selected to true and then i'll write uri hit alt enter to fix that uri equals uri dot parse and here i'll pass the my songs dot get and here i'll pass the position that we are getting and then i'll convert it to string all right and now i'll set the s name so s name equals my songs dot uh, get and pass the position here again and then dot get name all right and now let's put this name to the text view so txts name dot set text and here i'll pass the s name all right so now we can play the media player with the uri that we're getting from here so let's do that I'll create media player equals media player dot create and here I'll pass the context so get application context and then the URI here and then I'll write media player dot start all right so now let's create the on click listener to the play button so i'll write button play dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and here i'll check if the media player is playing so if it's playing and we'll and we click the button then i'll change the uh, button icon and also i'll pause the media player so let's do that if media player dot is playing so if the media player is playing any song then if we click that uh, button then then i'll change the icon to the uh, play state and i'll uh, set the media player to pause state so button play dot set background resource so here I'll pass r dot drawable dot ic underscore play and then I'll uh, pause the media player so media player dot pause 
all right and similarly for the else block i'll set the button play background resource to r dot drawable dot ic underscore pause and then i'll write media player dot start all right and now let's change the icon actually that we gave here to pause because at first when we'll open the uh, player activity that will start with a song so the default icon should be the ic underscore pause all right and one thing i forgot here is inside here the txts name the id is uh, txtsn not the txts name so that's it and now let's run this app to our phone and see what happens so as you can see our app is now ready and if i click on any song here like this so it is playing this song here you can see and you can pause this So that was it for the video in the next video we will see how we can customize this um, music player with some animation the uh, visualizers and also we will work with the seek bar so thank you for watching